I seize him means I caught him. <laughs> but after catching him, you need the strength to hold. For that, you need to practice. And that practice comes only when you are connected with your Samskriti, your culture. Because the culture is almost every day. No, no, you don't use the language almost. It is every day, every moment, every second. That strength, you hold it. Difficult to unlock. Difficult to unlock. That stage, when you reach, you are the master. Nobody can make you a slave. Nobody can purchase you. The ten bulls kick on. This is the fourth series. Catching the bull. I seize him with a terrific struggle. His great will and power are inexhaustible. He charges to the high plateau far above the cloud mist. Or in an in impenetrable ravine he stands. I seize him with a terrific struggle. Catching the bull is catching your mind, which is leaving your body and going far away. It is already gone. Why the mind left your body and gone so far away that it is difficult to catch him? Because outside the forest, that is the concrete jungle, there are beautiful lights which the political mainstream has already understood. The rulers have already understood. They found out that the flies are attracted only on one thing, the lights. And in the cities, when they put the lights, flies always get attracted to the lights. But in the villages, people knew if you put a candle, the flies, even though it knows it's a fire, it still goes and get attracted to the fire and it gets killed. But still the other flies keep on coming, it keeps on, keep on dying. Human beings, if they put the fire and they, they jump into the fire and die, then the rulers, political mainstream, the company heads will lose. They don't want you to die immediately. But they wanted you to die slowly. Hence, they removed that fire, then they created lights. So everybody gets attracted to the lights. When you get attracted to the lights, it is difficult for you to come back home. Because from the city lights, you can find bars, clubs, connecting links which you will never want to come out. It is another kind of a drug addict. I seize him with a terrible, terrific struggle. After a long time of the mind running here and there, I know the mind distraction. Whom you call, who is distracting the so-called friends created by the autocrats by the dirty politicians, not the good politicians. When that mind is so much distracted, you wanted to hold it, it is very difficult. I see him the terrific struggle. In every house, parents are struggling to seize the child, to tell the child, please, Learn from me because I'll teach you with love. Please understand this Sanskriti. 
Their family is very important, relatives are very important, not your friends. They told you friends are very important. Your friends will give you the chanchala. Your friends are not connected to the roots of your samskriti. They are already in chanchala. So the chanchala will drag you only to the bars, clubs and unnecessary talks which never leads to any way. Even though when they go to a death place also, can you see they don't talk about the person who is dead. They talk about some other politics. They were wanted to evade that basic structure. They go to the wedding place. They don't talk about the wedding and the struggle and the girl and the boy. They are just wasting time. I see him with a terrible, terrific struggle. Even after running after him to find out how to catch the mind so that I now start realizing the beautiful song of the nightingale. Wow, my mother's voice, my family's voice, my nature, my Sanskrit's voice. Once I start connecting, then nobody in the world can stop you because that song, that foot is very, very powerful. Hence you went to, you understood the mind is running away from your body. The moment the mind is got chanchala, disturbances and it leaves your body and you go, you know, it starts thinking. Because nobody is listening to you. Neither your words got any power. The mother and father also not having power on the children. They are not able to control. Their properties are being stolen or robbed. You don't call it stolen. It is just across the table barbaric murder of the parents to steal their properties. Robbers who have been fed in the house as in the name of children becoming a huge demon to ask for the share of the property of the grandfather or parents. They have not thought of finding out how they can make property bigger than this. His great will and power are inexhaustible. If you try to catch the mind to come back to you, Lord Ramana Maharshi said, ask who am I? You are, it's not possible because the external world is so powerful. You cannot even hold it. And his energy is so powerful, more powerful than any martial artist. Hence you have the difficulty when you sit in meditation. Hence you have difficulty when you sit with a guru. Hence it is difficulty when you find a teacher. Because the present teachers are also in chanchala. The present teachers also come to the class without meditation. Try to understand. No teacher can enter the class without doing pranayama, controlling the breath. If they are not done the pranayama, and meditation, they have got no right to enter the classrooms because the mind is full of chanjala. In the chanjala, what they know to tell only one mantra, they learn the teachers. Keep quiet, keep quiet because they forgot how to melt with the children. Hence, I tell the doctors before going for the operation into surgeries, into the operation theater, please do pranayama and dhyana. So that you know which part to operate and after operation you don't keep your scissors and the other wastage right into the stomach. One person was operated and after the operation he got a lot of stomach pain. So when they took the x-ray they were found inside his stomach after the operation doctors and the nurses forgot because doctor and nurses are laughing and jumping while the operation is going on. They forgot. That this thing should be removed and stitched back. They put it inside. Mind, body is like that. His great will power are inexhaustible. He charges to the high plateau far above the cloud mist or in an impenetrable ravine he stands. We cannot even find him where he is. To catch him he is going far and far. The more you try to catch him, the more he goes far and far. Hence they say if you hold it, it runs away. Keep it open it. Stays, 
but now it is difficult. It's not about your samskriti which you are trying to catch it is moved far away because in your house many people have married different different caste and community and languages. You first when you become strong, yes, you start the holding of your mother and father. Or if your mother and father is not to be seen at present, your guru try to find out what best you can give back to the school. When you find thinking that and this gets connected, when that and this gets connected, you find the yin and the yang, positive and negative, will always create an answer. And that answer is bulk. Try to understand, try to practice that one. Catching the bull, I see him with a terrific struggle. Yes, you have to have a terrific struggle now because the dirt inside the body. Hence, you find Swami Rakumji screaming at the highest voice possible. Highest voice possible. And that only the martial artists running on the road, they shout, and when they finish the push ups, 100. After 100, the hand will no more move, then the scream, ah, scream and people might think you get a heart attack. No, when the body is totally boiled up, you can scream to the highest temperature to chase the devil out from your body. Such is the power that it is impenetrable. <laughs>